We present a terrain representation module for rough terrain locomotion in urban environments. This neural network uses a stream of point cloud measurements and the trajectory of the robot to reconstruct the point cloud of the local terrain. The information is then used by a locomotion policy to overcome structured terrains. Locomotion in such environments raises a couple of challenges. The camera arrangement results in heavily occluded measurements. You cannot see below the robot, which is a key location for proper foothold placement. Due to the dynamic motions of the base and impacts with the world, the point cloud measurements are noisy and the state estimator suffers from drift. And last but not least, onboard computing power is reduced, which limits the kind of neural networks we can deploy on the robot for reconstruction. The current approaches on the robot, such as elevation mapping, suffer from the drift, which produces unclean reconstructions as can be seen here. Since the policy directly uses the height estimate as input, this results in erratic behavior. The network is a four-dimensional, fully convolutional encoder-decoder with skip connections, meaning that the kernels perform convolutions across 3D space and time. Given the pose difference between the previous time step and the current one, the previous output of the network is first transformed to the current measurement frame. The result is concatenated temporally with the current point cloud measurement and fed through the network to produce an estimate of the ground truth point cloud around the robot. This architecture allows the network to learn the geometric priors to complete the scene from the current context. The autoregressive feedback is used to leverage spatiotemporal consistency and use evidence from the past. The network downsamples the input by a factor of 16 and then upsamples the latent tensor back to the original stride. Since naive upsampling operations in the decoder are likely to produce a fully occupied voxel grid, we introduce pruning operations at each level. This step uses the current feature map of an occupied voxel to compute the likelihood that that cell is occupied. If the likelihood is below a user-defined threshold, that voxel is discarded from the tensor. The last layer of the decoder produces a sparse tensor with three-dimensional features. Similar to the input, each element in the feature vector corresponds to the coordinates of the point relative to the voxel's coordinate system. We can visualize the coordinates of the tensors along the different layers of the network to get a better understanding of how it reconstructs the scene. A key element for successful reconstruction of urban environments is the training data. We generate structured environments in simulation using NVIDIA's Isaac Gym. The spatial configuration is fully randomized to reflect the diversity of the real world. The robots are spawned on the terrain and we record the robot's trajectories and the measured and ground truth point clouds around the robot. We include typical structures such as walls, poles, corridors and boxes on the ground. To enable the sim to real transfer, we augment the data with random perturbations during training. We validate the approach in simulation and on the real robots in different scenarios. The pipeline is able to run at around 6 Hz on the onboard Jetson Xavier. The reconstruction is then passed to the policy, which uses the height information to overcome the challenging terrain. In our experiments, we show that our method can handle noise and large amounts of missing data. It can remember objects such as boxes that have entered the blind spots of the camera configuration. Moreover, when initialized in the middle of stairs, it is capable of producing a meaningful guess of the terrain below the robot. We show that our method outperforms the baseline's elevation mapping and vox blocks by around 10% in most metrics. In this outdoors experiment on steep stairs, the policy uses the height information from elevation mapping. Since the state estimator drifts, the map becomes unclean and the robot's motion is not smooth as a result. Note that our approach is able to detect this discrepancy between the measurements and the map and immediately aligns them. We also show that our approach works with a perceptive model-based controller which uses the map to compute footholds.